Hi, my name is Richard Boddy, one of three Dudley Labour councillors representing the ward of Cradley and Foscott. In this video I hope to explain a bit about myself, what I stand for, my political beliefs and what it means for myself to be a councillor for Cradley and Foscott and to give you a brief glance at our ward. Thank you. The ward of Cradley and Foscott is on the southern western edge of the Black Country and has a proud working class history famous for its once thriving mining, chain and nail making industries. The ward is made up of two main communities, Woolloscoat and Cradley, separated by a small stretch of greenbelt. The ward is made up of a mixture of both private and social housing mixed with industry on the edge of the boroughs of, of Dudley, Sanwell and Bromsgrove. <clears throat> I joined the Labour Party in 2000 and was elected along with my two fellow ward councillors Tim Crompton and Gay Partridge. I was re-elected in 2007. I believe in the values of what the Labour Party stands for Fairness, equal opportunities for every law-abiding member of society, regardless of social background. We have a duty to protect the vulnerable and elderly and give our kids every opportunity to thrive to maximise their potential. Having stammered all my life, I campaign against discrimination of any kind. I believe every law-abiding person should be treated equally and judged on their merits. I'm 43, self-employed, married for 24 years to my wife Rachel, and have two sons. I was brought up in and have lived in Woolloscoat all my life. I'm proud of the ward, and it's an honour and a privilege to serve the ward where I live, under the council. Cradley and Woolloscoat, I believe, has been let down by our Tory control council. The loss of our only secondary school, Cradley High, now means our kids have some of the longest distances to travel to school compared with other parts of Dudley and have less of a chance of obtaining their preferred school place. The wasted opportunity in closing not, not only the school but also the once thriving sports hall and changing rooms is a disgrace. The ward has a growing population the loss of a local secondary school and sporting facilities has been a massive blow. Dudley Council has given us, for two years running, one of the highest council tax rises in England, closed leisure centres, libraries, schools, housing offices and offer a poor level of green care maintenance due to budget cuts. Forgotten our youth slashed budgets on public events. Wasted money on costly, not needy glossy printing. Our potholes in our roads are left for longer than ever before. Drains are constantly blocked, unsightly weeds left to grow. All these cutbacks, yet our highest paid council officers have received large pay increases at the expense of everyday services. Our chief executive commands a £166,000 salary. I serve to the best of my ability every resident of Cradley and Woolloscoat, irrespective of political views. This is my ward as well as yours, and be rest assured I will always campaign for the best possible council services we rightly deserve here in Cradley and Woolloscoat. If you are a resident of either Cradley or Woolloscoat and you have an issue you would like me to take up with Dudley Council, please don't hesitate to get in touch. You can contact me on 01384 894 003 or my mobile is 07951 482 123. You can also email me on counsellor.richard.body at dudley.gov.uk
I'm also chairman of Homer Hill Friends of the Park Group and we are always looking for new members. You are more than welcome to come along and join. You'll be sure of a warm welcome. Again, if you're interested, you can contact me on 01384 484532. Thank you for watching.